and welcome to another edition of Pixar Fast Facts. Today we're going to be talking about The Good Dinosaur, so here we go. The Good Dinosaur was directed by Peter Sohn. Bob Peterson started out as lead, but ran into trouble putting together the third act of the film. The change in direction led to change in characters. This was especially noticed in making Arlo much younger. This change turned the star-studded cast upside down in exchange for younger voices. Forrest Woodbush is voiced by director Peter Sohn. Forrest can also be spotted in Inside Out while the Andersons are making their trip cross-country. The scene where Butch snatches a raptor out of the air is a tribute to the famous T-Rex rescue in Jurassic Park. John Ratzenberger makes his appearance as Earl the Raptor. While in development, the film was given the title The Untitled Pixar Movie About Dinosaurs. They even made a logo for it. The Good Dinosaur marks the first time Pixar released two films in one year, following Inside Out. This one scene lasts just a few seconds and took four weeks to animate. The only architecture found in the entire film is found on the Apatosaurus farm. When designing Spot, they started with sketches of a dog and added human features until they had a boy. The Good Dinosaur is the first Pixar film to feature volumetric clouds, or in layman's terms, 3D clouds. To get a better idea of what would happen to Arlo if he was swept away in the river, the Pixar staff went whitewater rafting. The Apatosaurus's movements were based on elephants, while the T-Rex were based on the hind legs of horses. Clawtooth Mountain is based on the Teton mountain range in Wyoming. It is confirmed by director Peter Sohn that the Pizza Planet truck, A113, and the Luxo Ball are in the film, but very difficult to spot as they are integrated into nature. The water was so difficult to animate that they reused a straight and curved section of river over and over and just flipped it to make it look unique. Animators used Google Earth and USGS data to map out actual specific locations, so animated scenes of places that actually exist. Upon completion, over 64,000 square miles were adapted to tell the story of Arlo's journey. The scene where Arlo gets swept away took more memory to create than all of Cars 2. Like with many Pixar films, the antagonist isn't actually a villain, but rather a scenario. This film dedicated tremendous effort into dwarfing massive dinosaurs in their surroundings and truly making nature the adversary of this inverse boy and his dog story. Thanks for watching this edition of Pixar Fast Facts, and be sure to stay tuned for more information than you ever wanted to know about the Pixar films. Side note, upon uploading, this film has only been out for about 48 hours. We may revisit this topic once we have definitive location of many of our favorite Easter eggs.